for me to change around things. So let's get on with things. I do want to remind you all, though, that Reader's Digest itself is now 101 years old. 101 years old. That's amazing. So, there's a bit of a sunset industry in media magazines, but we are still educating, um, we are inspiring and entertaining readers every single month. Returning with love of broadcasting, he is the anchor of the long-running radio programs, Kabayan and Teleradio Servicio Balita. And of course, we all know him from TV Patrol, the recipient of 2024's Most Trusted Radio Presenter as voted by the Filipino people is Mr. Noli De Castro. are not enough, the ones I said. There's more, we just had to cut in. Sure. I'm familiar with that, being a politician. <laughs> Before! Before I became vice president, I became a senator for three years. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. MC, uh, again, readers digest. I didn't know that 101 years na pala kayo. Wow! Ganun ba yung katanda? Anyway, Reader's Digest became part of my life. Naging bahagi na po ng buhay ko. Noon, noon pa. Hindi 101 years ago. Ha? Why? Because when I have uh, I had rather, I have uh, two uh, sisters who are teachers and one brother, a teacher also. So the only magazine na meron siya ng subscription ay ang Reader's Digest during the time. Well, nung pa, elementary school pa lang, elementary pa lang po up to high school, ang Reader's Digest na ang nababasa ko. And what page readers digest ang uh, the only page na binabasa ko? You more. You more. Yes. Digest again. Uh, it is an, uh, it an honor. It's really an honor. Karangalan ko po na kirangin na most uh, trusted radio presenter. Alaho, the most oldest radio presenter. <laughs> Kabayan means kapangyarihan ng mamamayan, balita at talakayan. Okay? Uh, ang program, this program Kabayan, Air Force TV Patrol, marami na akong pinagdaan just like reader, just like readers na yes. Well, of course, let's start with uh, martial law. During the time, Kabayan na po yan. And then uh, uh, after that, we have the TV Patrol. And after that, we have uh, Kuditas. Pato, di ba? Uh, yung mga Kudita na yan, uh, Mount Pinotubo Eruption. After that, Lahar. And then yung mga Bahala, every, uh, every day almost during uh, rainy days. And up to now, meron pa rin tayo. For the best public affairs program at the new... And it literally is the biggest thing that we do in the seven countries I look after. It literally costs 
hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. to do the survey. Mm -hmm. you know, not a pay-to-play survey. You know, you mm -hmm. can't pay us, which yeah. many other surveys in other countries do. You know, you pay a fund, mm -hmm. and then your name goes into that category. We don't do that. We don't do that. So people subscribe to Reader's Digest. Apart from uh, the print copy of the magazine, you get a digital version of the magazine as well mm -hmm. that you can share with your family. But yes, and in, in, in situations like trusted brands, what we also do apart from the copies that are on sale and subscribers, because we have a lot of subscribers, is we, we give out free copies as well. Mm -hmm. I think with our newsletters, that's very important, getting the brand out there in all of our countries. We do that now. Well, congratulations on being voted by. Um, the thing I keep saying about that is it's not being voted by Reader's Digest. People always get up with these awards and say, thank you, Reader's Digest readers. But I keep trying to reiterate that it's not Reader's Digest readers, it's the people of the Filipinos that have voted for the celebrities and for the brands in the room tonight that are winners because they were the judges, not us. So congratulations to all of them. Thank you. Yeah. People for the second year in a row as the most trusted TV host for news and current affairs. It gives me great pleasure to welcome on stage Mr. Ato Araulio. Section, yung tinatawag na trust o tiwala. That that's very important for publications, it's very important for brands, and it's doubly important for people in my profession, which is um, providing news and information to the public. Um, and ito po yung mga iniidolo ko, si Kabayan, literal na bata pa lang ako, pinapanood ko na. Tingin na ako ni Kabayan nung sabi niyo may kulit, at sabi ko, parang hindi ko na inabutan yung Kabayan, pati tumitin sa atin. <laughs> but uh, I am a product of many mentors, many organizations. I owe a great deal, of course, to GMA7, my current organization, but also ABS-CBN, where I worked for more than a decade. And I'm very thankful for uh, all the mentorship and the experience uh, that brought me here today. So, ngayon po, nagbabago ang ating media landscape, the information landscape. Tulad nga na nabagay ko kabayan, uh, our traditional gatekeepers are no longer as important today because of uh, social media, the internet, even artificial intelligence. So I think for us in the media, we believe that we continue to be relevant and by producing meaningful and timely stories, we hope to earn more trust among readers, our viewers, and the public. So maraming salamat po sa Reader's Digest and the boy Congratulations. And dubbed as the heartstrong female. She is adored by all in the Philippines, young and old alike, and is a national treasure. Voted by the Filipinos as the most trusted sports personality once again this year. Congratulations to Miss Eliza Valdez. It takes a lot of effort to build trust. We have to work for it constantly and continuously so that we can achieve our goals. And with that, I hope we do continue to build trust among, amongst each other, though we're from different fields, to make a difference in our society. Again, thank you so much to Reader's Digest for this recognition. Thank you to all the brands and people who believe in me and who believe in this sport. And thank you so much for recognizing women in sports. Magandang gabi po. Congratulations.